Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing my TBR for the Tome, Infinity and Beyond readathon. Uh, yes, I am a Toy Story lover and I just loved the play on words that this readathon was. Tome, Inf uh, Tome Infinity and Beyond, brilliant. Uh, this readathon is taking place between the 7th and the 21st of September so it's a two week readathon which is really nice um, and it comes with printouts. I will link down below where I saw the announcement for this. I think the channel was, um, I don't have a degree in reading um, but I will link down below her announcement video for this and I just think it sounds brilliant. Um, it says on here, your mission starting point um, and you have this sort of pretend transmission coming through with all the instructions. The basic idea of this is that you're looking to read science fiction books, which I have been seriously neglecting. Um, as you can see here, there is different routes you can take. And at the beginning, you start on Earth and there is four ships leaving Earth, A, B, C and D. And depending which one you pick is depending what you have to do for the first one. And they only go to certain places. And it says here that they recommend you've got to try and find a new home. You're leaving Earth um, to find a new planet that suits you. And it says we recommend you visit at least three planets before finding your new home uh, but the more you visit the more sure you can be you discovered the right place for you um, so really this gives you a little bit of leeway to decide how many you're going to do for the week and um, there is obviously as I say different challenges so I've looked at the sheet for this and decided the route I'm going depending on what I've already got on my shelf so I am taking ship B and ship B um, is going towards Mars and it says ship B Mars is there waiting to be reached read a book set on Mars well luckily I did have one of these on my shelf I've had it for ages it's about time I tried it and that is Lost on Mars by Paul Ma Magers this, I think, is a young adult book. It says it's about Laura and her family, their third generation settlers on the Red Planet, clinging to life on a small holding on a desert landscape, surviving storms and rumours of sinister disappearances, until one night Laura sees the dancers. When tragedy strikes, Laura and her family set out to seek a new life across the plains, but none of them are ready for what they find, the beautiful and dangerous city inside. Um, it says here, with the scale and scope of a great science fiction epic, Lost on Mars is the first in a trilogy from Doctor Who author Paul Magers. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one and this is going to be my book set on Mars. Now, when I've reached Mars, I have a different challenge and for Mars it says Martian Invasion, read a book featuring aliens. And for that I have picked under different stars by amy a bartle now this is also the start of a trilogy and i do own the whole of this trilogy so i may decide if it's really good that i will bash out the whole trilogy this month wishful thinking i'm sure but it does sound really good this is about a girl called cricket um she has always been hiding it says in plain sight eluding chicago's foster care system on her 18th birthday as it's coming along um she gets she meets a young ethereum soldier um, and he has been charged with coming to Earth to find her and take her back to her true home. Um, and it says that he must protect her until she's able to wield the powers that she cannot use on Earth. And he soon realises that counting a galaxy of stars would be easier than losing this extraordinary girl. Um, so this is all about her gifts and her coming into her own. It's got really, really strong ratings on uh, Goodreads. So I'm really excited to finally get to this one. It was hidden at the back of my shelves. So I'm really glad that this has brought it to the forefront. Now, the route I have decided to take next is to head from there to Mercury. But on this route, unfortunately, I'm going to hit an asteroid belt. And hitting the asteroid belt means an iconic flight obstacle. Read a space opera adventure. And for that, I'm going to read this mass market paperback which I have to say is pretty awesome in its front cover look at this can you see it and it's called with the lightnings by David Drake um, this just looks really fun and rompy it says Daniel Leary is a lieutenant in the public of Cinnabar Navy with no money no prospects since he quarreled with his ruthless political powerful father Adele Mundy is a scholar with no money and no prospects since her family was massacred for conspiring against the government of Cinnabar. 
Kostroma is a wealthy planet which depends on diplomacy to stay independent in a galaxy whose two great powers, Cinnabar and Alliance, battle for supremacy. In a few hours, diplomacy is going to fail Kostromo. Daniel, Adele and the Scratch crew they gather aren't much to stand in the way of a powerful invasion fleet, but just possibly they're enough. They have nothing on their side but each other, and heaven help whoever tries to stand in their way. Da, da, da. Oh, this just sounds like a brilliant space opera. It says on here, action-packed space opera. That's how I like my space operas. This is what I've picked my asteroid belt. So as I've said, that is then taking me to Mercury. And for Mercury, it says, the smallest planet, read a book under 250 pages. And so I've picked this one called No Ordinary Star by M.C. Frank. This is 200... Uh, no, 147 pages, so fits the brief brilliantly. And it just sounds like a very strange but interesting story. It says in the synopsis, A soldier is summoned to the North Pole days before the year changes, told to fix the great clock for a celebration. He has no idea what to do. A girl, hunted for the crime of being born, almost dries out on the ice. She is rescued by the last polar bear left alive. A library waits for them both, a library built over a span of a hundred years, forgotten in the basement of an ice shack. The world hasn't known hunger or sickness in hundreds of years. It's also forgotten love and beauty. The year is 2524. This says it's inspired by the short stories of Ray Bradbury and is a futuristic young adult novel set in a world where Christmas, among other things, is obsolete and a clock is what keeps the fragile balance of peace. Written in three instalments, this is the breathtaking and central story of how two unlikely people change the world and each other one book at a time. This sounds brilliant, uh, so I'm really looking forward to this, and it's under 250 pages. And then my final um, expedition is going to Venus. This is where I want to end up, on Venus. And so Venus is... Uh, Venus favours the bold, read a book with a bold female main character. And for that I've gone for the book called Behind, uh, Behind the Throne by K.B. Wagers. This front cover doesn't really draw you in, but then when you read the synopsis, it's such a shame because it sounds brilliant. It says, Hale Bristol has made a name for herself in the galaxy for everything except she was born to do, rule the in, uh, Indranian Re Empire. When she is dragged back to her home planet to take her rightful place as the only remaining heir, she finds that trading her ship for a palace is the most dangerous move yet. Um, I think she's going to have to be a bit of a kick-butt heroine here, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So I'm hopefully going to end up on Venus. That means I will have read five books, which I think is doable over the two weeks. And it also gives me some leeway to read some more in the ones that are starts of series. If I want to sort of elaborate a little bit. Um, have you read any of these? Did you any think of any of these are good? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you taking part? Let me know and I can check out your TBRs. This sounds like a really fun readathon and will really force me to get to some of those science fiction books that I've just been leaving hanging around on my shelf. Anyway, that's it from me and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.